Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Zukomazi, and I'm coming back with a uh, modern FPS tutorial. This tutorial was requested uh, a few months ago as I did a vote, and making a modern FPS is the one that won. So, as I come back into the YouTube game, I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials. So, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. And first things first, I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. We're at 2,000, over 2,000 subscribers, and we're right at the mark where I'm about to get monetized, so appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me. I've just been doing it for fun and, you know what I mean, to help people and promote my own games, and glad you guys been liking the content. So, first things first, you're going to need Easy FPS. This is the best free FPS asset I've seen on the asset store. Let you guys go ahead and see how it looks, you know what I mean? By the end of this, uh, like, 10, 15 minute tutorial, you should have something like this. I mean, that's shooting, reloading, have an ammo counter, hip fire, aim down sight, got some weapon sway, you know, you got footsteps, crouching. So, all the bases you need in FPS, and then we're going to add upon it throughout the series with inventory, switching out attachments, all types of things like that. So, go ahead and open up a new project and then import easy FPS and everything else you're gonna need just to make a few pointers before it starts you most of your guns you're gonna want to be have modular guns if you're making a highly detailed FPS if you're just making something simple this is one of your first games you might not have to worry about it but getting modular guns something like this with a actual there's no attachments on it nothing like that that way you can put two or three different scopes on it switch it up Put a different barrel on it, different suppressors, and so forth and forth, just like the uh, modern games. So to find your guns, this is a good free site I found, Sketchfab. Just literally go in and type rifle, find all type of free guns. Uh, I leave links to these in the description so you can use them. These specific ones, like the scope, the red dot. This is the gun we're going to be using in the demonstration, as well as the suppressor little attachment you can add. And I add these two just now, I mean, in case you need something. So go ahead and add FPS, download all the guns and tools you need, and start a new project. So the Unity version I'm using is 2019.413. I'm not sure how it works with the other versions, but I feel this is uh, one of the best versions of Unity. I've been working on it in a long time, and the newer versions haven't really added anything so good that I would want to change from it. So that's what I'm sticking with for now. So all I did right now is pretty much open a new project. I organized a few folders and I imported my easy roll, easy FPS, put it in a little tools folder. And you know what I mean? I got all my guns and stuff that I'm going to be using. I got a, a lot of guns that I might, that I paid for assets that I used and I at least included the test gun. So, you know what I mean? I'm going to do that one first. And then if you see me using guns or stuff that you're going to have, it's the same formula, just, you know what I mean, it's going to be your guns. So first things first, go ahead and open a scene, you know, it's like third things third, but uh, open the scene, go into the easy F FPS, and right here we got the player, let me explain what's going on. So right here we got the player, and then in here, in your easy FPS, you're going to see resources. So, you see this right here, it's a new gun auto. I'm gonna copy that. Yours should already be in here. But you see gun inventory right here. That's how you're gonna be loading which gun you're gonna be using. So, I got new gun auto right here. Let's play. You see I got the automatic gun. Freaking zombies. Say you want, I'm gonna delete this right here now. You're going to want to add your own gun. So go ahead and duplicate whatever you're using. I'm going to make an automatic gun. So I duplicate the auto. Now name it whatever name your gun's going to be. M6. Let's see. M16. Cool, cool. Now, in this scene, the player, go ahead and go into your inventory script. Type in the exact same thing you named your gun and now you got your gun in there so in order to put your gun 
model to put, to put the model in you want to go ahead go over here click on the prefab go to guns wherever you put uh, place your model at I'm going to be using an example M16 that I added in the description so you can uh, follow along perfectly and you're going to drag that into the root and open up the scene view as you see you got the player which is pretty much just a set of arms and hands and the gun there's not a full body on this I think about adding it later or doing something like that but probably not so pretty much what you're going to be doing is just replacing your model now I dragged the M16 into weapon root All right. no no not into weapon root take your weapon and actually drag it into weapon so it usually lines up that way uh, now you see it lines up perfectly straight so you ain't gotta worry about using a rotational tool to angle it all around so drag it right into the weapon root and line it up with your gun using a rotational tool and the movement tool and also resize it so now that I know that it's all perfectly lined up at least like straight you want to at least make sure it's straight on along perpendicular with the gun you can get rid of this skin mesh editor you might be able to delete it delete it totally but I'm not sure I ain't gonna mess with it but uh yeah and line up your gun so let me drag this up make sure it's uh sized correctly maybe a little bit bigger and just drag it on in Now you see we got our gun in there, but you see it's not doing exactly what you want it to do, so push pause, go back to your prefab, which should be in resources, M16, click on it, open it back up, and right here, make sure the layer is default, and click yes. the aim down sight reload Freaking now you get started so first things first what I'm gonna do the next thing I'm gonna do is uh get rid of the hit marker on my gun not the hit marker I'm sorry uh crosshair because uh you, you can tweak around with the crosshairs and all that but for this example in my tutorial series I'm gonna get rid of it completely because I feel like it's uh I don't like it it's on immersive if uh, I could take away crosshair from guns I would do it in all FPS games. So how I do that is just go to size and place it on zero on all these four parameters. As you see now we have no crosshair. It's looking clean. Run around, your gun's in there. Let me make it full screen real quick. I mean you got your gun in there. Now you're gonna be tweaking it to your liking now. So you go back to your scene view now you got this M16 clone. And if you kept your project photo open, you still got your M16 prefab down here. So, first things first, with the placement of the gun, you click on the M16 clone, go to the gun script, and you see rest position. You can switch that up to however you want your P FPS to be. You know what I mean? I'm going to move it over here like that. Let me move it down a little bit. I like that. I see that's perfect right there. So you remember these numbers right here, and you paste them right back into your actual prefab in order to save it. So I got negative 14, now 9, and 42. And you just type that into your prefab. So 9, 42. And it's the exact same thing we're aiming now. Click on the uh, clone. Bring it back a little bit. Bring it up. And just bring it into line with your sights.
cool. Freaking zombies. So once you lined it up, you see you pretty much got it set up now. That's easy, uh, you know what I mean, less than 10, 15 minutes. Got your gun, got a character running around, you got your uh, basis set up. So Freaking whatever zombies. you want to do with your FPS, make a space shooter, survival, zombies, whatever. But before you close the scene, make sure you always copy it back to exactly what it was in your act, your actual preset. Copy the exact parameters. And for some reason, if you, for sometimes with certain uh, assets, you can just copy this whole script and then paste it. Like copy ramp parameters and then paste values. But for some reason, it messes it up with this asset, so that's why I'm doing it little by little, or one by one. Alrighty. Now, to spice it up a little bit more, I added that uh, suppressor for you. And I'm show you how to uh, replace your sounds as well. So, open up the prefab again. Locate wherever you downloaded the suppressor. Make sure you unpack if it's not gonna work. And you pretty much just move it in and line it up. Drag the material on. Make it zero. Now you got your suppressor lined up to change the sound. You go into the prefab you're in, see shooting sound, and replace it with whatever sound you got. And that's how you change the firing sound. Next thing you're gonna do, see muzzle spawn. That's where the actual muzzle fire is gonna be. I'm gonna make sure you line that up to the tip of the barrel. Looks good right there. All right, now you can push play or unplay and push play now. Ooh, ooh. Freaking zombies. And one more thing with the sounds, and we're going to end it off right here. You see how he's saying zombies or whatever? I don't like that. So to change the sounds, the other sounds, the player sounds, you go into the player movement script. Right here you see whatever this is right here. Click on that. And I'm just gonna make the value all the way down. So you ain't gotta change the code or nothing like that. Just get rid of it. That's kinda like a his saying. I don't know, maybe if you're making the terminator game or whatever. He has like a catchphrase he says every time he reloads. But I I'm taking that out. So you that's how you get rid of that. Now you push play. And you see you're on your way. So I'll be posting the next part of the tutorial over the next couple of days, no more than two, three days. It should be posted up. Maybe even tomorrow. And for that one, we're gonna be adding some zombie AI. So zombies will come around and chase you, you'll be able to kill them. And then we even add health and maybe stamina as well health and stamina depending on how long the zombies take health and stamina might go next no 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 we're gonna put all that in one tutorial so expect zombies and health and stamina coming up in the next few days appreciate you watching the video and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button peace